hello so in this video we're going to learn how to make your own android app bundle.eab or .apq file in your expo app locally without using expo application services this one um, they are great but you should always have an option of local first so this video is only going to about android plus windows uh, so let's get started before starting if you are new to react native you need to have few things on your machine before starting open gdk 17 android studio ndk Hitesh Chaudhary has one great video on React Native Windows installation and there are official docs too so you can refer to them. Now in this video we are going to use Expo framework which is built on top of React Native and we are going to build our own .app file and .apk file. Now this is our uh, bare bones Expo app have done nothing they are just node modules installed so let's get started first we are going to make our android directory we are going to run pnpm expo rebuild if you are using any other package manager use that npx or yan now we are going to add our package name package name is generally a identifier or app it's a unique thing it could be anything like an amalgam of three words oh android directory is getting created so yes our uh, android folder is here now for making our android app bundle place ready we are going to need an key store a key store is a way to make sure that your app is getting updates as a developer from only you and not from any third party person or organization so we are going to follow the official docs step by step First, we're going to make an keystroke password. I'm going to use the OpenSSL command. You can use any password. Okay, this is just like a quick way to generate passwords. Now, we're going to copy this command. Now, generally, in the official doc, it is said that you have to run this command as an administrator. So, we are going to do that. Now go to your open JDK settings in the bean if you have open JDK installed on Windows press Windows X A and we have the PowerShell open. Now go to the direct that open JDK directory and paste that keys tool key store command which is going to generate you and key store enter enter the password we have generated keep it safe and stored somewhere else i'm going to add our name and you can also fill this field for the sake of this video i'm not and our key store file is here we are going to copy this key store and put it in our android slash app folder now we're going now next step is going to our gradle dot properties file and copy this and just replace your password it's done now we go to our build.gradle file present inside android slash app folder we are going to comment the debug parts 
do this only when you are building or keep the debug pads there and we are taking this config I just prefer the file path and here signing configs dot release in in the official docs it is here now all of our preparations are done now one more thing you don't want your password or key store to leak somewhere so we are going to add this to our kitigno file it's added into the kitigno now we are going to make our android app bundle so to make our android app bundle we are going to run npm react native build android mode is equal to release and it does take 10 minutes something for for the first time to make build the app so take your time So yes, our dot Android app bundle file is here. It is present in the Android app build outputs bundle release and here is your app release dot app file. Now here this time it has taken only three minutes, but generally it does take like 10, 15 minutes. So keep that in mind. Now we are going to make our APK file. Now before making an APK, you are what you have to do is take your Android phone, connect it with USB with your PC and have USB debugging enabled. Now since we are using Expo, we are going to export tools to make our APK npm expo run android variant release because this command is going to install it in your connected android phone and if you haven't connected one it is going to look for an emulator on your local machine generally i don't prefer emulators because they are heavier on the device and my machine isn't that powerful it does run an emulator but it kind of lags a lot and the machine heats up a lot that's why i just prefer um, connecting an android phone well our apk is also made Here is in the outputs APK and release app release dot APK and on my connected Android device I have my APK installed. It's a production release level APK, not dev APK. And I hope hope this video helps you if you like it like share subscribe peace